Hi, I'm Al Powers. I'm the director of the Vanderbilt Diabetes Center, and I want to tell you some things today about our efforts in related to diabetes at Vanderbilt. Uh, underneath our umbrella of the Vanderbilt Diabetes Center, we're focused on research, patient care, and training. And we're trying to influence, as you see at the bottom of the slide, individuals that have diabetes who are at risk for diabetes, communities that have diabetes, and we hope to have both national and international impact for our efforts around diabetes. In terms of patient care, we're really delighted that in the Vanderbilt Eskin Diabetes Clinic, uh, we, have, we provide comprehensive adult and pediatric care. Uh, the Eskin Diabetes Center was endowed by Annette and Erwin Eskin, shown in the upper right panel there. And in the Eskin Diabetes Clinic, we see over 50,000 visits per year. We have more than 50 physicians, nine nurse practitioners, and three pediatric nurse practitioners. And we're one of three clinics in the United States that's certified by the American Diabetes Association for both adult, pediatric, and gestational diabetes uh, programs. Underneath our uh, research arm, we have a number of centers that are supported by the National Institutes of Health that are fostering and enhancing our efforts for diabetes research. One is the Diabetes Research and Training Center, shown in the left. Uh, the Center for Diabetes Translation Research, that's headed by Tom Alassi, shown in the lower left. Our Institute for Obesity and Metabolism, our Mouse Metabolic Phenotyping Center, which is headed by Dr. David Wasserman, shown in the lower right, and our Clinical Trial Center that's headed by Dr. Howard Baum. In terms of our research efforts, we're one of 15 uh, NIH-funded diabetes research centers that are shown on this map. There are two types of research centers that the NIH supports. One that are diabetes research centers shown with the, uh, the box, uh, red line around the box, and centers that are for diabetes translation research shown with the blue box. Uh, in centers that are shaded in gray, they have both the Diabetes Research Center and the Center for Diabetes Translation Research. So what I want to tell you about today are our efforts at Vanderbilt around diabetes research. We're, we're fortunate that we are two uh, NIH center grants. One is called the DRTC, which stands for the Diabetes Research and Training Center, and the Center for Diabetes Translation Research, or the CDTR. These have more than 120 faculty members at Vanderbilt that are spread out across the institution in 15 departments and three colleges, and we also have collaborators and members who are at Meharry Medical College. And we conduct both clinical and basic research, and I wanted to just to share some of that with you. So in terms of basic research, we have a number of efforts in the laboratory that are focused on understanding why individuals get diabetes, how to better treat their diabetes, and how to prevent the complications that are related with diabetes. We also have a number of clinical research programs. So here's one that's headed by Dr. William Russell, uh, who's the Director of Pediatric Diabetes and Endocrinology at Vanderbilt. And it's a trial net center that's sponsored by the NIH. And there they're trying to understand the natural history of type 1 diabetes and hopefully to prevent individuals from developing that. We've had a long history of diabetes research here at Vanderbilt. So this slide shows the diabetes control and complication trial trial shown in the lower left. And the reason that I show this old slide is because this trial, which was headquartered at Vanderbilt and also conducted at 29 other centers throughout the North America, changed the way we understand diabetes. So Dr. Oscar, Oscar Crawford and Addison Scoville, shown in the picture, Dr. Crawford on the right was the principal investigator of this trial. And this changed the way the world views diabetes and shows that controlling the blood glucose will prevent the complications of diabetes. We have a number of other things that are part of our Diabetes Research Center. So one of those are cores or shared resources. So this schematic shows our, our pancreatic islet core. And in the lower left in those boxes are pancreatic islets. And so we study how those cells grow, how they develop, how they make insulin, and how they become dysfunctional in type 1 and type 2 diabetes. We also have an enrichment uh, program and a seminar series in Diabetes Day, and the schematic for that is shown in the lower right of the, of the, uh, of the slide. This is an area where we get those 120 people together, we collaborate, we, we convene people, we train students, and we try to enhance collaboration in both understanding why diabetes develops and how to better treat that. We also have a number of pilot and feasibility grants that we're able to distribute, and these allows Vanderbilt investigators to test new ideas that they have about understanding why diabetes develops and how to better treat that. We're also involved in training, as you can see in the, the red box at the right, and I wanted just to show you because it's important at Vanderbilt 
and elsewhere that we train the next generation of scientists and physicians and educators who are gonna, who are gonna fight the battle against diabetes. Uh, for example, in, the, in our diabetes center, we have training grants that are supported by the NIH. Some of these support graduate students, some of them support postdoctoral fellows, and some of them support medical students. We also encourage our, our trainees to go on to careers in diabetes research and patient care. For example, you can see that we, we award a, a three, uh, a three, two, three individuals each year. Uh, we nominate them as our diabetes scholars shown in the, in the right side of the slide. And for example, we also, we also coordinate a NIDDK program, that's the diabetes branch of the NASA Institute of Health, where 120 medical students from more than 80 medical schools, and they're working at diabetes research centers shown in the map in the lower right. Now, we coordinate this at Vanderbilt, and each year all of these 120 students come to Vanderbilt to attend a research symposium where they share their research from the summer, and they also learn about careers and pathways in diabetes research. So we're very delighted in our efforts at the Vanderbilt Diabetes Center as we, as we do research, patient care, and training. And hopefully through these efforts, we'll impact individuals that have diabetes, communities that are affected by diabetes, and have both international and international uh, impact. So if you want more information about the Vi Vanderbilt Diabetes Center, please visit us on our website, www.vanderbiltdiabetes.org, and we look forward to visiting with you.